It's now my pleasure to introduce our student speaker, Ms. Juni Zhou. Juni was born and raised in Shanghai, China, and came to the U.S. four years ago. She's graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology and Economics. As one of the global ambassadors at UC Davis, she actively engages in cross-cultural communications and aided international students with integrating into the U.S. culture and UC Davis campus. She also serves as the president of the Chinese Students and Scholars Association's External Affairs Department. She was the president of the Youth Volunteer Association in China for three years. So please welcome Ms. Zhou. Good evening, acting provost, deans, members of the faculty, all the friends and parents here today, and most especially, graduates. I'm very honored to be standing here to say congratulations, UC Davis, class of 2016, we made it. What an exciting moment. But first, let me take a selfie. <laughs> Biggest smiles, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Right here, right now, this commencement might be one of the most important moments of our lives. But let's imagine the scenario when we are 70 years old, and when our grandchildren ask about what our college life was like, what will you tell them? That we had to sit through our biggest moment, this commencement, on June the 11th from 7 to 9 p.m., or even longer? Probably not. I personally will tell my grandchildren how I pulled an all-nighter to finish a UWP essay how I managed to host a show at the Mondavi Center. And that one day, when the weather was just perfect, I spent the whole afternoon talking about life with my closest friends at our secret spot. Those friends including Emily the Alpaca and Reza the Cow. Now you all know my secret spot. Oh, and I will tell my grandchildren that I took a selfie with thousands of people at my commencement. All these beautiful small moments have integrated into our memories of college life as they have helped us achieve this big moment we are in right now. Each one is just as important as this commencement. And I believe this philosophy applies to life as a whole. Life is made up of millions of these small moments and it's the little things we do that matter. I am an international student from Shanghai, China. I came to the U.S. four years ago and was among the first group of students to participate in the very first international students orientation at UC Davis. The struggles are real. There were times when I felt alone when everyone was laughing at jokes that I didn't understand. There were times when I was so lost I didn't know how to cope with so much culture shock, a dramatically different education system, and the sense I didn't belong. I made up my mind to venture out of my comfort zone and live my college life to the fullest, to make a bucket list, and to do what domestic students do, or even more. During the first quarter, I made a bet with my best friend Tom. Hi, Tom that before the day we graduate, he was going to lose 100 pounds, and I was going to have checked all 100 items on my bucket list. We were dreaming big, but now four years later, we both made it. <laughs> Tom made himself monthly plans and short-term goals he goes for a run every day, 
He eats healthily every single day. Simple as it sounds like, but that's how exactly he lost 100 pounds. To be more specific, 128 pounds. <laughs> and similarly, I broke down all my 100 to-dos. Let's do the math. Four school years equals 12 quarters, which is 120 weeks. I managed to accomplish almost one task every week. Debate a professor in class? Check. Learn how to ride a bike? Check. <laughs> Skydive? Check. Ice bucket challenge? Check. Undy run? Just check. <laughs> These little things matter as they all from day one have paved my way towards my goal. And I indeed have made UC Davis more than just a school to me. UC Davis is my second home. I love you, UC Davis. Without dreaming big, breaking it down, and doing it step by step, Tom would still be 328 pounds and passive aggressively blaming his extra pounds on bad luck. And I, I mean, now look at him. He's feeling so good about himself. <laughs> and I would probably still be that shy foreign girl who never wants to get out of her comfort zone, let alone stand here in front of you guys and give this speech which is also the very last item on my college bucket list. <laughs> Steve Jobs once said, everyone loves Steve Jobs, <laughs> trust that all the dots will somehow connect in the future. I believe all the small moments and little things we do will eventually complete the puzzle of life and lead to something big. Sometimes we give up because our ultimate goal seems so far and impossible. But in fact, the first little step that you can take is usually very simple. To quote one of my favorite authors, Mark Twain, the secret of getting ahead is getting started. The secret of getting started is breaking your complex, overwhelming tasks into small manageable tasks and then starting on the very first one. Lastly, my wish for each and every one of you is that all of the important people who you share these beautiful and challenging moments with here at UC Davis will continue to be by your side as you keep dreaming big. Thank you and best of luck to every one of you. Go Aggies!